Hello everyone. Let's discuss few of the important things related to experiment number three, so that you can do the given exercise easily. I have written some uh, sample code in which I have declared already main function and I have mentioned two header files. These header files you can decide based on the whatever the functions you are going to use inside the program, right? If you are already aware about which pro, uh, function you are going to use, you can include the header file accordingly. So here, let's say if I give you a task, you have to write a program in which user will give some input and program will continuously keep on taking the inputs until and unless user will press a specific character, right? Generally, many of the software, they generate a message on the screen, press any key to continue, right? Such kind of things if you want to create in a program, how we can create, right? So here I'm taking a task. So let's say I'm setting an objective. Let's say the objective like this. Then write a program which will take input from user as characters and print it on the screen until user presses any key any specific key let's say has key okay so i'm saying let's say has so i'm intended to write a program which continuously taking the input and displaying the output on the screen if user press hash key then it will terminate right so let's write it uh, if i want to take input there are multiple ways to take the input there are many things like you can use some library functions you can use let's say scanf to take some input you can use get ch ar or you can use a function get c you may use some system calls like read and number of things you can use in a program to take the input from the user so let's say first you must be familiar with scanf so i'm going to take a scanf so because i want to take character as input then i can take one variable as care and let's say c i am taking here now because continuously i want to run this program program will not terminate until a specific character will be pressed or entered by the user so i am applying a while loop okay and inside the while loop let's say i am taking i am using a scanf okay now in this scanf i am scanning a character and i am passing the address of that let's say c is the character now if after scanning this i am checking a condition if let's say this c is equal to a specific character let's say dollar i want to compare so i am taking dollar then i will break if it is not then i will print something so i am using printf and in printf let's say I want to display that character so I'm taking C and C is the input character variable and this is the very simple code I hope you can understand this so let me save this and let's execute now when I execute it is executing fine now if I type dot slash a dot out it is asking me because I haven't displayed anything. So it is not displaying any message. You can display a message, enter a value kind of message. Let's say I'm typing A, it is displaying A. If I'm typing B, it is displaying B. C, D, anything. So whatever I'm typing, it is displaying, right? 
it will keep on displaying whatever I type until I press has. So let's say I'm pressing has, it is getting terminated. Okay. The similar thing I have asked, similar thing I have asked in your experiment number three exercise, but the same thing you need to do with the help of system calls. So instead of using a scanner, you need to use read. Okay, so because it is the exercise given in your manual, I'm not solving here. I hope it will help you to solve the exercise of experiment number three. Thank you. So I'm closing this. See you in the next session.